Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you this card. Uh, this card came from Pinterest. Um, I can't remember the lady's or the person's name. I never can. I should really write it down and um, let you know who made it. So. sneak peek as the ink dries is her username I don't know if it's off her YouTube or that's it there and she used the black and white stripe which does make it look nicer but I haven't got black and white stripe or I said I haven't when I made this card I couldn't find any and I found this black and white check so I thought oh I'll use that and then when I went to cut out the paper for uh, the card I'm going to make today I found some black and white stripe but I kept to the check so these are pop in fact I use these poppies off my sister the dies um, cut them out last Saturday um, I am going to get them because I do like them. I just don't like the stamp set to go with them. I do have this poppy set with the dies. So I think I might just get invest in these dies. Because I do like them. <laughs> right. To make this card I've got a card base. A tent folding card. Of 11 and 3 quarters. Uh, by four and one eighth, scored in half, scored and folded in half, which should work out at five and seven eighths. I have a black piece of paper, and this is from the Butterfly Gala, and that is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have a black piece of card for the band, and this is two inches by three and seven eighths. Oh no, by four and one eighth. Actually, I'm going to cut it at three and seven eighths. I'm going to stick it down. And I have already cut out all the elements I need for the poppy stamps. So all we've got to do is stamp and cut out the sentiment. using the pretty label punch so let's get a piece of card and the sentiment I'm using from humming along and I'm just using that wishing you an amazing birthday which I've already got out black versifying ink let's use this one And we'll just stamp that there. I don't think I stamped up high enough. Let's see. Oh yeah. Right. Keep that for when I need another bit of scrap. away for another day so right that needs to go on dimensionals and we're going to stick all these bits together now so with my glue let's do this large poppy and we're just going to glue on certain areas And place this in 
another on here. Now we've got to find out which way it goes that way. And I have the black centerpiece, which we just put. Oh, there's a bit in there. That's it. Take it out. All right. Let's do this one. Hmm. and cut properly. There you are. It's cut and that will fit on there. So get some glue on it. And that little black piece has gone missing. Hmm. Wonder where that's gone. We'll find that. There's a little black piece that goes in there, but I shall find it. Right, these are the buds. And all you do is stick them to the leaves. All right, these are the leaves. I do like the way the I've cut out like the shadow of the leaf. And then the big one. There we are. Now that one I did, I cut and I cut it there. Right, oh, there it is, my little black bit. I knew to cut it out. Makes them more realistic when they've got the darker bits on. Right, we want to place this piece of card on there. Down there, right. So I shall glue it. There again.
and then we'll trim off the overhang. And we'll stick this on there. Can't believe how much as butterfly paper I've still got left. Especially the black and white stuff. I need to think of some cars and use it up. Do anything inside. No, it's just a plain white piece of card. And I might just stamp happy birthday inside actually. So as I've got my itty bitty birthday stamp on the table, I will use that. birthday and watch it be wonky oh it's not so stick this in Now then, this is going flat up there. That will be on dimensionals, and then we have these leaves also flat underneath. So if I lay them out, like that. Uh, I'm going to glue the leaves down first. I seem to be making a lot of these cut and stick cards just lately. I don't think I've got any more planned for a little while. And then this is getting stuck down. Right, and this and this is on dimensionals. I have a Big one there. scraps up of me paper just a little bit there and one bit there Right, just 
do this one first. Right, I really should do my buds first. And then this is going to sit there, like that. And there we have it. Another cut and stick card with a little bit of stamping. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.